although there has been a large degree of integration between European Union member states. Foreign relations is still a largely intergovernmental matter, with the 27 members controlling their own relations to a large degree. However, with the Union holding more weight as a single bloc, there are at times attempts to speak with one voice, notably on trade and energy matters. The High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy personifies this role. The EU's foreign relations are dealt with either through the Common Foreign and Security Policy, decided by the European Council, or the economic trade negotiations handled by the European Commission. The leading EU diplomat in both areas is the High Representative Josep Borrell. The Council can issue negotiating directives to the Commission giving parameters for trade. Negotiations A limited amount of defence cooperation takes place within the common security and defence policy. However, it is hoped that defence cooperation and integration between member states will be improved by establishing a military planning and conduct capabilities, unit focused on military operations. The High Authority of the European Coal and Steel Community, the EU's predecessor, opened its first mission in London in 1955, three years after non-EU countries began to accredit their missions in Brussels to the community. The US had been a fervent supporter of the ECSC's efforts from the beginning. And Secretary of State Dean Acheson sent Jean Monnet a dispatch in the name of President Truman, confirming full US diplomatic recognition of the ECSC. A U.S. ambassador to the ECSC was accredited soon thereafter. And he headed the second overseas mission to establish diplomatic relations with the community. Institutions. The number of delegates began to rise in the 1960s following the merging of the executive. Institutions of the three European communities into a single commission. Until recently some states had reservations accepting that EU delegations held the full status of a Diplomatic Mission. Article 20 of the Maastricht Treaty requires the delegations in the member states as diplomatic missions to cooperate in ensuring that the common positions and joint actions adopted by the Council are complied with and implemented. As part of the process of establishment of the European External Action Service envisioned in the Lisbon Treaty, on 1 January 2010 all former European Commission delegations were renamed European Union. Delegations until the end of the month 54 of the missions were transformed into embassy type. Missions that employ greater powers than the regular delegations. These upgraded delegations have taken on the role previously carried out by the national embassies. Of the member state holding the rotating presidency of the Council of the European Union and merged. With the independent council delegations around the world. Through this the EU delegations take on the role of coordinating national embassies and speaking for the EU as a whole, not just the Commission. The first delegation to be upgraded was the one in Washington, D.C. The new joint ambassador was Joao Wilder Almeida who outlined his new powers as speaking for both the Commission and Council Presidents and Member States. He would be in charge where there was a common position but otherwise on bilateral matters, he would not take over from national ambassadors. All delegations are expected to be converted by the end of 2010. Some states may choose to operate through the new EU delegations and close down some of their smaller national embassies. However, France has indicated that it will maintain its own network around the world for now. The EU sends its delegates generally only to the capitals of states outside the European Union and cities hosting multilateral bodies. The EU missions work separately from the work of the missions of its member states. However, in some circumstances it may share resources and facilities. In Abuja it shares its premises with a number of member states. Additionally to the third state delegations and officers the European Commission maintains representation in each of the member states. Prior to the establishment of the European External Action Service by the Treaty of Lisbon there were separate delegations of the Council of the European Union to the United Nations in New York, to the African Union and to Afghanistan, in addition to the European Commission delegations there. In the course of 2010 these would be transformed into integrated European Union delegations.
The EU member states have their own diplomatic missions, in addition to the common EU delegations. On the other hand, additionally to the third state delegations and officers the European Commission maintains representation in each of the member states, where the EU delegations have not taken on their full Lisbon Treaty responsibilities. The national embassy of the country holding the rotating EU pre